nerve impulse is how the nervous system conveys information. It is an electrical current that travels from a dendrite zone neuron to its axons. The nerve impulse occurs due to the movement of ions across the neuron's plasma membrane, using channel proteins in the sodium-potassium pump. When the nerve is at rest and not conducting an impulse, this is called resting potential. A charge difference exists between the outside of a cell and the inside of the cell. The outside has a net positive charge while the inside has a net negative charge. This difference is produced by the existence of the sodium-potassium pumps within the neuron's plasma membrane. The sodium-potassium pump pumps three sodium ions out of the cell and two potassium ions into the cell. First, three sodium ions enter the protein and bind to specific spots. Next, a molecule of ATP breaks down into ADP and phosphate. The lone phosphate atom binds to the protein, causing it to change shape and release the sodium ions to the outside of the cell. Immediately after, two potassium ions enter this protein and bond to it. The phosphate detaches, causing the protein to reverse back to its original shape. The potassium ions are released into the cell and the cycle repeats as new sodium ions attach to the protein. It is to note that both sodium and potassium ions have a positive charge. How can there be negative charges involved if both ions are positive? The sodium potassium pump pumps out three positive sodium ions for every two positive potassium ions it takes in. This creates a ratio of 3 to 2 with a greater concentration of positive ions outside the cell than inside. It can be then said that the inside of a cell, relative to the outside, is less positive than the outside and therefore is negative. Taking this into account, any negative charges shown are just lesser positive charges. A nerve impulse begins when a stimulus disturbs the plasma membrane on the dendrite and causes sodium voltage gated channel proteins to open. Sodium ions flow into the cell, lessening the charge difference at that location. More sodium ions enter the cell and cause the inside of that region of the cell to take on a net positive charge while the outside is a net negative charge. This is called depolarization. This affects neighboring sodium voltage gated channel proteins causing depolarization to flow down the cell membrane. This moving depolarization is called an action potential. An action potential is only initiated if the cell is depolarized enough to pass the threshold. If it doesn't cross the threshold, there will be no nerve impulse. Behind the action potential, changes occur that cause the voltage gated sodium channels to close and the potassium voltage gated channels to open. Potassium ions begin to rapidly flow out of the cell, so the inside of the cell has a net negative charge again, and the outside, a net positive charge again. This is called repolarization. Polarization is followed by the use of sodium potassium pumps that restore the proper concentrations of sodium and potassium ions on the outside and inside of the cell. The cell is finally reset to its resting potential, ready for another nerve impulse in the near future. Changes occur that cause the voltage gates of the cell have a negative and the outside a neck net voltage-gated channels to open. Channels?